Friday, we played a radio ad running in Florida, uh, actually uh, running in Arkansas on black radio stations in support of a Republican congressman running for re-election. That is uh, Congressman French Hill. Now check this ad. It's a similar one running in the very tightly contested Missouri U.S. Senate race. The incumbent Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill is running against the state attorney general, Republican Josh Harley. Listen. What do you think about what's happening in Washington? Josh Hawley and the Republicans know that it's dangerous to change the presumption of innocence to a presumption of guilt, especially for black men. If Claire McCaskill can do that to a white justice of the Supreme Court with no evidence, no corroboration, and all of her witnesses, including her best friend, say it didn't happen, what will happen to our husbands, our fathers, or our sons when a white girl lies on them? Girl, black folk will be catching hell again. Honey, I've always told my son, don't be messing around with that. If you get caught, she will cry rape. I'm voting for Josh Hawley for Senate because we have to protect our men and boys. We can't afford to let Claire McCaskill take us back to the bad old days of race verdicts, life sentences, or worse, when someone screams rape. Paid for by Black Americans for the President's Agenda. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. All right, y'all. The ad was created and paid for, as you heard, by Black Americans for the President's Agenda. And the head of that is Vernon Robinson, who joins us live on Roller Mart Unfiltered. Uh, Vernon, welcome to the show. Hey, Roland, how are you? Doing great. First and foremost, uh, I'm very curious. You talk about Josh Hawley there uh, in uh, Missouri there as well. Then, of course, you talk about Republican uh, French Hill in Arkansas. So are you suggesting that Republicans uh, are huge supporters of criminal justice reform uh, and they want to protect black men who have been uh, sent to prison unfairly? Well, the president has uh, met with Kim Kardashian freed a woman who was convicted, of, got a life sentence in drug dealing, and really working with uh, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee and, and Tim Scott to look at these issues and and do something about criminal that's, justice reform. But Ver, what we can't Verna, do Verna, is that's, we can't Verna, go that's in the two wrong direction, which is to change the what we saw in the Kavanaugh confirmation hearings. We change the presumption of innocence to presumption of guilt. You, you didn't because, answer my uh, question. Black men will really be catching, catching hell under that circumstance. Vernon, you didn't answer my question. You named two people that Donald Trump has pardoned. I, we know for a fact that Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas the very state French Hill is from, who you are running this ad saying should be reelected, that Senator Senator uh, Cotton has stopped criminal justice reform for the past five to six years. He has actually said we need more people in prison. So I'm going to ask you again, show me the evidence where Republicans are leading uh, the effort when it comes to criminal justice reform. Where is the evidence? Where are the facts? Well, again, the we can't go in the wrong direction. And the wrong direction would be subscribing to the lunatic Me Too movement who wants to believe every accuser. Roland, should we be, believe the accuser in the case of uh, Tom Robinson and To Kill a Mockingbird? After all, she had um, at least one witness, which is more than Christine um, Blasey Ford had. Um, are we gonna believe the accuser in the Emmett Till case? Uh, because two white Democrats did believe her and, and murdered uh, the teenager and threw him in the river. Vernon, so, got a question for uh, you. Vernon, is about Vernon is got a question for you. Not going in the right direction. Speaking of going in the right direction, Vernon, do you support Donald Trump? I do. Did Donald Trump take out an ad in the New York, uh, in New York newspapers saying that the men involved in the Central Park Five, the Central Park Five, should be given the death penalty for what took place? Did he do that, yes or no? Uh, well... I'll take your word for it. I, I no, don't no, 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 no. It's actually, it's, it, it's very easy. He did take yeah. the ad out. Second of all, second of all, all five of them were exonerated where someone else admitted to the crime. They tested DNA. In 2015 and 16, when Donald Trump, the guy you voted for, was asked whether or not uh, that he will issue an apology. He not only did he say no, he also said that he believed that those young men, black and brown, were indeed guilty of that crime. To this day, the guy you voted for has refused to apologize to those black and brown men who were falsely in prison, who were exonerated, who got a $40 million payout from taxpayers as a result. So Donald Trump, 
That's what well, he sometimes did. Sometimes individuals who get really tough on one side uh, fail to apologize when they should. Uh, certainly the 81 of 82 Duke faculty members who denounced the lacrosse players who were innocent and the prosecutor who prosecuted them was removed from office. Um, you know, they should have apologized as well. But, 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 but Vernon, but Vernon, but Vernon, but Vernon, but Vernon, but Vernon, you didn't answer my question. You didn't answer my question. Vernon, one second. You didn't answer my question. You are, Vernon, one second. You said we should not. voted for him and. Vernon, Vernon, one second. You said we should not go backwards. We should go forward. The man you voted for believes that the five innocent black and brown men who went to prison for the Central Park Five he believes that they are still guilty. And so how can you say we should go forward when the man you voted for won't even acknowledge that he was wrong by calling for them to get the death penalty? Well, first of all, when I was a city councilman, I was vice chairman of public safety, and the worst day of my eight years in office was I, when I sat through a hearing, and it was obvious in the, in the hearing that the police and or the district attorney's office had suppressed up obsculpatory evidence and a black man went to jail for 19 years and so i believe we should move forward with criminal justice reform well if you but if you we if, hold up hold up vernon 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 if no actually to talk about the ads no no you, actually you actually, actually vernon you're wrong because in your ads you are making the claim that republicans will be leading the fight for criminal justice reform protecting black men who are falsely accused so at, no one second one second if you subscribe to the lunatic left fringe in the me too movement you'll be going in the wrong direction that's not of, what you uh, said no that is not Form, that is that not is what not, your ad said. That is not what your exactly ad said. What you tried to go, go back and say, oh, no, we can't have a, our, our black men, but white woman accused them, uh, then they going to get lynched. First of all, you had these two black, I don't know where you found these two black women uh, who to, to sound Those like. black two, women sound like millions of black women across the country. No, they country, sound like a caricature. But here's the question, Vernon. It's here's not the a question. Caricature. Millions here, of people speak that way. Here's the question, and, Vernon. And, and you're Vernon, wrong. Millions Vernon, here's of a your question. Listeners here's a question, Vernon. Here's a question. Do you support Jeff Sessions? Um, no, I want to get rid of Jeff Sessions because he won't uh, prosecute uh, the criminals in the Obama administration. Okay, hold Starting on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on. When I was, when I had, Burning, a, I had a top secret clearance, <laughs> I had a top secret clearance. So, if I had one of those emails that she had top secret clearance, I'd still be in Leavenworth. So Vernon, so uh, Vernon, so Vernon, so Vernon, you don't support security, top secret clearance what she did. So Vernon, you don't support Jeff Sessions because he won't prosecute them. But do you support Jeff Sessions, who told that all his U.S. attorneys to go after the highest maximum penalty, which was a reversal of what Eric Holder said, that we should not be trying to imprison folks? Do you agree with Jeff Sessions, who believed that, that, that you, should, you should criminalize a marijuana? Do you believe with Jeff Sessions, who said we should go back to going to private prisons? Do you believe Leave Jeff Sessions, who has been fighting criminal justice reform, fighting Jared Kushner against prison reform. Do you agree with all of that? Because your guy, Donald Trump, hired Jeff Sessions. So clearly he hired the guy who he agrees with about imprisoning more people, including black and brown people. Well, there was so much there. I'm not sure where to you start. You damn right there's so but much the bottom, there. <laughs> but, but, the, but the bottom line is that um, your listeners can hear the ads at blackamericansmaga.org so they can make their own opinions or they can tune into WFUN in morning and evening drive uh, to actually, hear the actually, ads. Actually, Vernon, they have, was told uh, Vernon, that, they have made... that we were going to talk about my ads and that I wouldn't Vernon, have to we are just... stuff that's happening in Tennessee and we Georgia are discussing and your ad. Florida and, and all over the place. Vernon, I mean, Vernon. You're, you're going all over the place, Rowan. Vernon, no, I'm not. We're discussing your trash ad. And what we're discussing is the my, fact that my in, ad's great. actually in your ad, in your first, if, if it's so great, remember, if it's so great, if, if your ad is so great, ninety percent of the black vote, he's going down. If so your ad is, that. if your ad is so great, why did Congressman French Hill denounce your ad? Why did the Arkansas uh, Republican chair denounce your ad? Um, because it makes them uncomfortable. Because somebody sent out a, a memo that Republicans should never talk about rape or about Blasey Ford or about the Me Too movement. So, they, they, you know, if the Republicans would would fight the lunatic leftists who are burning 
the country down and breaking windows and assaulting Republicans as opposed to attacking other conservatives, they'd be in better shape. So, but, so, you know, so the Congressman Vernon. has to run his race, and I have an obligation to make sure that on the issues of life, where Democrats want to kill black babies and Republicans want to save them, on the issue of school choice, where Democrats in the South are standing in the schoolhouse door of educational opportunity, and Republicans want to provide school choice and get black boys out of the failing union schools, and with regard to jobs, where there are so many jobs now, there aren't enough people to fill them. So Biden, which is a definite change so from the previous administration's horrible record. So, so, Vernon, so let me ask you, my, my so obligation Vernon. is to put that information before the voters in now, now, Kansas City. Now, hold up, Vernon. Hold up, Vernon. Not Vernon. defend all this stuff that you're talking about. Hold up, Vernon. First of all, you just told me to focus on the ad. Your ad don't mention none of the stuff you just said. So your, your yes, ad don't. Your, your you, ad, you know, your ad, Vernon. You your ad your producer, says the, nothing. The Vernon, ad. Vernon. Okay, Vern, okay, Vernon. Okay, Vernon. Okay, Vernon. Okay, Vernon. Says you. Is running right now. Okay, so Vernon. You're wrong. Okay, Again, Vernon. They, okay, Vernon. Says you want to talk about the economy and black people. Okay, tell me this. Why does your guy Donald Trump want to completely eliminate the U.S. Minority Supplier Development Council? The only federal, the only federal agency that is designed to provide opportunities for African Americans and people of color to be able to grow their businesses. Mm -hmm. You explain to me well, why your guy wants to completely probably, wipe it probably out. Probably because it's a failure, like most government agencies. The bottom line is that black businesses have expanded. That after a 12-year decline in black That's home a lie. ownership, black That's a hold up, hold up. Home ownership has turned up. It, I, That's I, a I lie. Didn't make the, Vernon, Vernon, that's a lie. Black, Vernon, Vernon. The housing, the the housing associations, and you will see that in the last month of the Obama administration, and it fell four years in in Bush's administration too, but in the Vernon, last month it it bottomed out and it's gone up. Vernon, uh, black home Vernon, Vernon, let me help you out. First of all, Vernon, you're talking to somebody who specializes in housing at the Austin American Statesman. Somebody who specializes in housing at the Fort Worth Star Telegram. You're talking to somebody who just three weeks oh, ago. Ah, Vernon, 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 Vernon. You're lying. Black home on, black home ownership oh, is okay. under black home ownership is under 42 percent. The previous high, the highest point, was at 60.4 percent under President Bill Clinton. Second of all, for second of all, second, I'm Vernon, 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 Vernon. Let me help you. Vernon, seven years ago, Vernon, seven years ago, we had 1.9 million black-owned businesses in America. Now we have 2.6 million. That number has been growing since seven years ago. But here's the problem, Vernon. Seven years ago, when we had 1.9 million black-owned businesses, they were averaging $110,000. In annual revenue. Now that we have 700,000 more black owned businesses, they're not averaging $54,000 in revenue. And so while you're touting an increase in black owned businesses, their annual revenue has been cut in half. That's an absolute well, fact. But, but Vernon, I'm going to ask you this question, Vernon. Vernon, I'm going to ask you this question. Happening with their family and their family incomes are going up. Vernon. And all it takes is 15% Vernon. of voters to vote for Josh Holly. Vernon, Vernon, you're lying. Vernon, you're lying. Vernon, you're lying. That's not a lie. Go ask Claire if she wants to only get 85%. Vernon, of the here's my vote. question, Vernon. Again, I want you to show. So explain this to me then. Since you say Republicans are so much behind criminal justice reform, why is it that Bob Goodlatte, the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, won't even schedule hearings on that very issue? Uh, the president's talking to the House and the Senate leadership, trying to get them to move forward with really? criminal justice. But again, no, no, that's not I know true. you don't want to talk about that's Planned Parenthood true. killing black babies because you have no defense. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, Vernon, no Vernon, Vernon. Singer, I am more than happy, Vernon, Vernon, I am more than happy to talk about that. But please show me where all you pro-lifers are when a black man is gunned down by the cops. Do y'all only care about black bodies when they are a fetus, or do you care about them when they are walking around... Uh, uh, neighborhoods. Well, but, um, the Republicans care about black babies when they're babies, when they get born. Um, really? Crisis pregnancy centers help out and take care of babies, both Real? black and white. Vernon? When they go to school, we try to get them out of the union-run schools. They Vernon? don't teach them how to read, write, and add. Oh, Vernon. And in fact, and, oh, Vernon. And in fact, hand out condoms instead of Vernon? up their family's values. Vernon, who wants to cut? To Vernon, which party wants to cut Head Start? Head Start does not work. Which party wants to get rid of the and Affordable Care Act? 
Um, Again, which party? Well, which party does not want to provide? Well, which party? Get rid of the Affordable Care Vernon, Act the people who created it lied. Vernon, they said you need to keep your doctor if you wanted Vernon. to. They said that your costs would go down. The costs have skyrocketed, and you can't keep your doctor. Vernon, because Vernon, got a question for you. Plans. Got a she question for you, work. Vernon. The deductibles are too high. I got so, a question for you, Vernon. Come on. Which party? Which party? Which? Actually hold up, Vernon. Vernon, which party wants to cut? Which, care Vernon, which party wants to cut money that goes to uh, to poor women with prenatal health care? Um, the party that wants to give those women the right to choose a school is the Republican Party. Vernon, and the oh union Vernon. Run Democratic okay, Party the opposes <laughs> them being able to. Vernon, <laughs> what is what is the infant mortality? You know, Vernon, in what is Vernon, Vernon, what is the infant mortality rate for black women in America compared to white women? It's sky high. Say it again. It is high. Keep going. How high is it, Vernon? <laughs> um, it's it's high, but how high? You know, is it one? The, the, is it is it is it one? Hold up, Vernon. Is it is it one times high? Is it double is, or is it triple? It's going to improve because you're going to end up if we follow your example with single payer health care plan and black folks will really be in so in Vernon. Bad shape. The so, only folks who be able to get any health care then will be rich folks. So Vernon, correct me if I'm wrong. So if you say Republicans really care about black babies, please show me the evidence where Republicans who control the House. Who control the Senate? Who control the White House? No, no, one, 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 no, 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 one second, one second. Hold up, hold up, hold up, one second, one second, Vernon. Show me the evidence, the bill, the law. The Republicans have passed a bill or a law that says we are going to directly address the prenatal care and the high infant mortality rate. If you say they care about black babies, show me the evidence where they've done it with controlling the House, the Senate, and the White House. I'll wait. The first thing you have to do with black babies is not kill them with your friends and See, here we go. Here we go. See, you can't even... Vernon, the evidence is right here. Three times as high infant mortality rate in the number of places in the country. So if, so if you say y'all care about these black babies, please show me. Here's the other piece. If you care about life, Vernon, why are Republicans so ardently supporting uh, the death penalty? Well, actually, um, my views on the death penalty have slightly changed. What are they? I mean, this is not this is not the view. I believe there are some people who should be executed. The problem, however, but I thought you pro life. In some cases, the criminal I thought justice system is a monster. Well, pro life means you're concerned about innocent death. So that means I am concerned about not pro executing life, people life. who are not I, guilty. I, I, hold up, I hold up. Hold up. I, I've never seen a bumper sticker. Guilty. I've never seen a bumper sticker say I'm pro life, only innocent. Life. I heard pro life is I'm pro life. Everybody who's in the pro life movement wants to defend innocent life from oh okay um, okay from okay. conception to natural death, which means we don't let people who benefit from the the will kill elderly people in euthanasia laws like the one okay. that was passed in uh, Oregon. Okay. It means that we take care of babies. It means that we don't want. Uh, people who are not guilty to be executed, but we sure as heck want people who are really? guilty to be hold executed. Hold on, hold on, I'm sorry. Hold, 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 hold on, Vernon. Is why you want I'm to save the murderers and you want to execute the babies. And What's Vernon, wrong? I'm sure, I'm sure glad you said that because wasn't it the late Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia who actually wrote in one of his legal opinions that even if somebody was innocent if they had already gone through the appeals process and had not introduced the evidence in an earlier phase, it did not matter. He essentially said that even though we later found out that there's evidence that the person was innocent of the crime, it don't matter because you know what? The procedures were all followed. Wasn't he one of your well, favorites? <laughs> um, Anthony Slea is one of my favorites. But he, but um, hold up, I thought you said the innocent, the innocent should not be in jail. And he actually but, wrote that the innocent even if, if they have gone through the proper process and they introduce evidence at the wrong time, we shouldn't even consider it. And they should just go ahead and just like, hey, guess what? Too late. That was your guy. Well, again, uh, innocent people should not be executed. Well, well, well um, really? really? Hold up, really? Executed for certain crimes. And again, you know, should, should it, innocent it, people I be in jail? That the enthusiasm you have to make sure that innocent um, people accused of crimes are not put in jail when they're not guilty or executed when they're not guilty was uh, shared with the babies who are killed every day in St. Louis 
overwhelmingly black babies, three times more likely than white babies to be killed by abortion because all of the babies are innocent. Uh, Vernon, please show me. I'm still waiting for you to show me the bill. A Republican say that we're going to throw billions to prenatal care. We're going to throw billions to opening health centers to make sure that folks who actually are having children, the baby will be healthy in the fetus and also when they come out. But also, please show me the evidence where you also, where your party the is supporting. Well, hold on, Vernon, 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 Vernon. Here's like the other piece. Vernon, Vernon, why, 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 <laughs> Vernon, why are the people you supporting want to cut the farm bill, and, and when it comes to SNAP, when you have literally millions of children who are starving, but y'all want to cut the budget. The farm bill is a big subsidy for Okay, I got you, I got you, okay. It's it, amazing it how there's always an excuse when it's time to deal with the children or when y'all are in power. What's your excuse for the teachers union the Democratic Party standing in the schoolhouse door? Hold up, Vernon, Vernon, Vernon. See, Vernon, here's the problem, Vernon. This is what happens when you are not a smart black man. You are talking to a man who no, created... No, no, I'm, Vernon, I'm Vernon, not, Vernon, one second. Man, Vernon, Vernon, you, let me help you, you out, Vernon. Me Vernon, 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 because you, Vernon, because you didn't, you didn't use Google, Vernon. Because you didn't use Google, Vernon. Because you didn't use Google. Because you didn't use Google. Vernon, you're talking to a black man who created the initiative called School Choice is the Black Choice. You're talking to a black man who went to magnet schools. You're talking to a black man who's going to be in, in Indianapolis on December 2nd dealing with school choice. No, 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 no. See, Vernon, that's the mistake. That's the mistake you make, Vernon. Vernon, you keep saying my party. Vernon, I don't have a party. My party is black people. My party is when I go see black people. And when I see a black man who is running an ad, that's so full of lies. When a black man is running an ad that's full of lies, and you can't even show me we're, evidence we're of criminal lie. justice reform. Easy. You Republicans are lie. not leading on criminal justice reform. That is a lie. The Republicans are trying to keep the presumption of innocence to there be you changed go. to presumption of guilt. Vernon, I have a question. How much, how much money? So weren't you also raising money for the Ben Carson campaign? Mm -hmm. I was the national director of the draft Ben Carson committee, and we raised eighteen million dollars. And how much y'all? How much y'all spent? Thirty-eight thousand donors. Um, excuse me, th thirty-eight thousand volunteers who did nine hundred events in twenty-one months, and we got only the second conservative grassroots candidate to run for president of American history. So, is it this? Is it, is it this really? Isn't this your your black Republican your president's agenda? Is it this really? a financial scam to raise money? Well, if it was, then you could breathe easily because- it's I'm just not, asking. Claire McCaskill is gonna go down in about 14 days I'm just asking. I mean, other, well, other so Republicans, that's, other that's black ABC. Republicans even I say- you you'll, what happens if 15% of black folks in the South and 20% of black folks in the Midwest support the president- Vernon, are you a registered Republican? Campaign, and the answer is- Vernon, are you a registered Republican? You guys put up. For a Democratic nominee, you will be, that individual will be defeated. Vernon, are you registered so Republican? Are you about, are you actually about saving the, from the lunatic fringe, which which used to be a legitimate party? Vernon, are you actually Republican? Are you registered Republican? No, I'm not. So you're not. So what are you? I'm a member of the Constitution Party. Oh, the Constitution Party. The lunatic right fringe. But but you are raising the money for the Republicans. So isn't this really? A check game for you? Um, <laughs> I'm concerned about the direction of the country. I'm concerned about Republicans being assaulted, beaten, sh uh, one congressman shot, another congressman, uh, one senator uh, assaulted at his home, uh, people uh, burning things, you know. Uh, essentially, the black community in, in, in the final analysis is going to vote for jobs, not mobs. Really? Well, guess what? When you please really? show me where Donald Trump is not going to whack the budget of the Minority Supply Development Agency, when you actually show me uh, where uh, they are actually uh, unbundling a lot of these large contracts to allow black folks to compete for these smaller contracts, when you please show me that black agenda, which I have yet to see, then we can have that conversation. But, all right, Vernon, I appreciate, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, I appreciate the invitation. Okay, Take well, okay, I, well just, do, just do one thing. Stop lying in those ads. I appreciate it. on after Claire loses in 14 days. Just stop lying in those ads, Vernon. Let's go to our panel right now. So, uh, Eugene...
until you hear. He's not a Republican. Listen, I, 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 I've, I've uh, interacted with Vernon. You know, Vernon is the guy that uh, calls you looking for a candidate he can, you know, raise money and scam donors off of. Um, as he said right there, he's not a Republican. He left the party early in the year, but he's still out here scamming donors and spending money on lying ads. I mean, you want to tell me that Hawley cares about black people? Show me. He's he's AG for the state of Missouri, right? Show me the the reforms that he's backed when it comes to policing in the wake of Ferguson. Mm -hmm. um, you know, French Hill. Show me where French Hill is co-sponsored. You know, either the Good Lot Bill or the Grassley Bill. Show me where French Hill is a co-sponsor on the uh, on the uh, on, on the Conyers uh, Sensenbrenner uh, Voting Rights Act bill. Um, and so. You know, Vern is Vern, Vern is the worst type of black Republican. No, you got you know, you have we got some opportunists, you know, I can drop some names every now and then, but we got some opportunists. But he's the worst of the worst because he's the type that, like Raynard Jackson and some others, that can go and grab a couple hundred thousand or a couple million dollars, you know, and and, and, and F up the name for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, he, he you know, as he said, he's not a black Republican, but he needs to stop posing as one. Again, when you, when you hear those ads, oh, these Democrats going to take you back to when black men were being lynched and a white woman going to accuse our black men of raping them. Gang recognized gang. It was, it was just, that, that whole interview was just so unfortunate. Because he, he also, it's one thing if you're in a particular position. But he does, I don't even think he knows what the Minority Supply Council is. He doesn't. Uh, he absolutely does the not. Guy, I mean, the guy's run so, for Congress multiple times. He does it. Like, his entire scam is, hey, I'm going to either start a PAC or file a candidacy or support a candidate, and then just literally pump and dump. I'm going to mm -hmm. grab cash, send out a bunch of mailers, hire some people to do phone, phone fundraising, come back, grab the cash, take my cut off the top, pour it back in. I mean, he didn't say what the impact. So of does the whole he file it? Does he do his FTC he does, he, file? He, yeah, they file. They he file. He's file. A, no, no, but the thing is, he's the, like one more time. He's the worst type because he says, you know, I really don't give a f. I'm just going to yeah. do it regardless and just show you what I'm doing. And you can go look at the paperwork mm. and it's all legit and whatnot. But he, I mean, he's literally. We talk about you know swamp. Like that's the type of folk you need to go after. That's the type of folk that you know talk about a sessions DOJ wants to deal with public corruption. That's who you need to deal with. I mean, he's somebody that's literally abusing FEC mm. laws to just enrich himself. You know, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's maddening. It's sickening. Mm. Avis, go ahead. I mean, it, that, I agree with you. It was painful to watch this. Like it's living in some alternate universe. Uh, and, and what's really disturbing is, you know, frankly, that ad was, it was, uh, it was insulting. Yeah. I mean, when you listen to that ad, it's absolutely insulting to think that he would put that out there, push that on the black radio stations, as if black people don't have the critical thinking skills to look through and see the ridiculousness that he's pushing out there. Uh, clearly, uh, he, as you mentioned, he's looking to sort of line his own pockets because no one with any amount of experience in this nation would know that the stuff that he's pushing through at all comports with reality in terms of the real challenges that we're facing today as black people, both in Arkansas and in Missouri. Hey, all I'm saying is I try to give a brother a shot. Uh, but see, again, though, this is my issue with people like Vernon, Yep. People like Candace Owens, Raynard Jackson. Who, who tweeted out, oh, black uh, business startups are up 400%. It's a flat out lie. Political right. fact has laid out that that's an absolute lie, and that's the game they keep playing. Yep. Because, again, most folks don't do research, and they go, ooh, see that black business is up 400%. It's a <laughs> lie. It's a 100% lie. And what they do is they go on Fox News, where there's no pushback. They go other places and they lie. Yep. And you got, it's like even right now, Candace and her little group are having some of the black conservative uh, leadership uh, forum uh, this week in D.C. Uh, my folks have been trying to get us a media credential. They ain't responding. Wonder why. Wonder why. Because they don't <laughs> want to be held accountable. They are lying. And here's the deal. If Republicans actually had an agenda, I'd be like, Oh, cool. Just, just wait, just wait until you see the photo op of them at the White House for the reception of President Sosa for them. Oh, I'm sure that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh yeah, he loves photo op. Oh yeah, that's what it's gonna be. <laughs>